Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today I will show you how to set up Linux terminal service on CentOS 6.4. In this video, I prepare for two parts. In part one, I will explain the Linux terminal service using Tiger VNC. And the part two, I will show you how to set up NX pre-NX. This one already also support the Linux terminal service. Okay, chapter one, Linux terminal server. What is the terminal server? We call normally in Linux system, we call this one X server. So normally X server used to display an X windows session learning on another computer. Normally in the Windows, we call this one normally desktop. So X server is learning on the remote computer, not on your local workstation. So even if in the remote there is a Linux server, we can use this Linux server in my local system using this terminal server. Workstation such as Linux and Windows is only the display or copy of the display can be a real or virtual that is running on the remote machine. So even if the workstation bring the this the X server to local system, normally this is a kind of displaying a copy of only display. In this video. I prepare for this kind of testing environment. First one, the Linux terminal server, this one, the host name will be server.com and the IP address 192.168.8.5 192.168.8.5 and the Linux system is a sent OS 6.4. I prepare for two client systems. First, the Linux one, Linux terminal client, host name, and IP address, and distribution, CentOS 64. And the Windows as well as a terminal client, the Windows 7, the 64, in my case, 64 bit, and DHCP. Okay, to implement the Linux terminal server, normally the sent OS support the Tiger VNC, the package name of the terminal server. So first, RPM, QA, grab, Tiger VNC, press check this package install on a new system. And uh, if there is no package, this one, please install like this, yum install Tiger VNC and Tiger VNC server. This one is a server program. This one is a client program. And if you meet some error during installation of these packages, please update these two, uh, three packages, Pond and the Pixman and Pixman development. And after that, Tiger VNC configuration first we have to configure this file, etc, sysconfig, vnc servers. So here, in my case, I create three lines. First one, vnc servers, one, till and two, Linux. So here, one, two is a session number, till and the Linux is a vnc user to uh, use what to be able to use this BNC server. And next line, the argument. So here we can define exact geometry is a kind of resolution of desktop. So here, one means the session number one, two means session number two. And after that, we have to create the password of the, this BNC users. So in my case, I will create TLAN and Linux. After login to TLAN and Linux, you need to uh, 
uh, implement this command vnc password then this one will cast your password and after that service vnc server start and the checking the process using this one and port number this one so normally vnc tiger vnc use this port number okay using tiger vnc on client client system first the next system in the Linux system, we need to install package first. Here, yum install tiger vnc hyphen y like this. And after that, we can use this program using this one. vnc viewer 192.168.8.5. So this one, the vnc server, and the one mean the session number. So in my case, there are two sessions, number one and number two. Number one for TLN, number two for Linux. And the Windows, for the Windows, we need to the download this package, Tiger BNC VA, from this website, sourceboys.net, Project Tiger BNC. And after that, after installation, if we start the Tiger BNC, so here we can configure this IP address of the BNC server and port number or session number like this. And the encryption must be off. Number two, encrypted VNC through SSH tunnel. In number one, I show you how to connect the VNC server from client. But in this case, normally this session does not support encryption. So in number two, if the VNC use the SSH tunnel, this one support it's the uh, session encryption. So first one in VNC server to implement this feature first, we have to configure SSH server. So open SSH server main configuration file and after that, please check password authentication. Yes. And after that, the service SSH restart. And one more thing. Here, etc config vnc servers, we have to add this one, local host. So, and after that, service vnc restart. And uh, in vnc client, we can test like this. vnc viewer, beer, till and username, and uh, server's IP address, and session number. But, uh, Tiger VNC viewer support this uh, encryption, encrypted VNC session, but uh, Windows does not support this feature. So just I will show you how to use the encrypted VNC through SSH tunnel on Linux system. Okay, then let's uh, test here. Okay, this one uh, host name the server system. First, let's check the package. Okay, Tiger VNC. So, in my case, there are four, but in your case, even if there are two, this one, Tiger VNC and Tiger VNC server, maybe will be successful to implement this tiger vnc so if you don't have just install like this you install tiger vnc and tiger vnc server like this in my case i already installed okay in my case i got this kind of message because i already installed these packages Okay, and after that, etc syscompig vnc servers. So in my case, line number 18 here, vnc servers. So here, session number one, the user will be the TLN, and session number two, user will be Linux. And here, for each session, we have to create the argument. So the first argument and second argument. So the default is a geometry like this. Okay, and after that, till end 
So here we have to create the password, bnc password like this. Then password in my case, so tland1234, tland1234. Okay, again, tland1234, tland1234. Okay, and after that, the Linux as well, Linux, bnc password. Linux1234. Linux 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so if we create the password, normally this password in this directory. So here we can find this kind of the password file and the other log file as well. So if I check this is a data file, so we cannot read this file using the text editor. Okay, and after that, let's try to service VNC server. In my case, restart. Okay, now the server is started, and after that, let's check the package VNC. Okay, now there is this kind of the process, and after that, port number. So now this one is open. Okay, then now we are ready to use this VNC server. Okay, let's go to client system. Okay, here first let's check the Tiger VNC. This is a client package. So in my case, I already installed. Okay, then there are two way. First one, if you are successful to install this type BNC, we can find here applications. The in my case, I already okay here. Uh, Tiger BNC viewer. So move this is uh, this panel. So in my case, I will click this one. Okay, in the Linux uh, client system, let's test this one. Click. Tiger BNC, so in my case 192.85 and the session number 2. Okay, and of that password. So now in the Linux client system, I brought the desktops uh, of the server. So here, if I either start the terminal, so now user is Linux. Okay, I am successful to the implement the BNC client. Okay, then let's go to the Windows. Okay, Windows in the in my case I already installed this one Tiger BNC viewer. So your let BNC be one nine one nine two eighty five session number two okay so password linux one two three four okay now i brought this one from the server so now even if i stay in the windows but i can use the linux system in any time okay then the, let's go back to Server. So far, I show you how to use the Tiger VNC, but now let's try to use the encrypted the VNC sysconfig VNC servers. So now, uh, okay, here. So now VNC server user TLN then Linux and the geometry the argument one argument two is the same but only here I add hyphen local host hyphen local host like this. Okay then the service VNC server restart.
Okay, then the T land. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the client system. So in the client system, in my case, this one I cannot use the, some the options. So I will use the console command vnc viewer. In my case Linux, the IP address one nine two one six eight eighty five and local host session number two so so in this case the first the ssh server will request the password so in my case linux one two three four okay and after that the vnc password linux one two three four so now i'm uh, successful to use the vnc server from the Linux the client system. So here let's check here ID. So now Linux. Okay, so far I show you how to use the Tiger VNC on Linux and uh, Windows. But uh, in case of the Windows, so here for example. 85 session number two so this one cannot uh, connect because this one tiger vnc does not support the ssh connection so in next video i will show you how to set up the open uh, nx and the pre nx and then you will understand the how to use the VNC connection using SSH as well. See you next video.